Hi, this is Joe Malenchak, and uh, welcome to my uh, channel. Today, I would like to talk to you about uh, CO2 motors. Uh, but first, if you would like to see uh, more content like this, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Okay, CO2 motors were popular back in the uh, 70s and uh, 80s, uh, used to power free flight models, and I used them to power some of the world's smallest uh, RC models back in the day. Um, what happened was NICADs were too heavy and nickel metal hydride batteries, so we could take a lightweight uh, CO2 motor and use a tiny uh, receiver and a basically like a little watch battery to power that receiver, and we, we had some lightweight RC uh, airplanes. Um, CO2, what is a CO2 motor? Well, basically a CO2 motor is an ambient temperature steam engine. Um, the stored hot energy in the aluminum tank boils the CO2, and it runs like a uh, steam engine. Uh, they're very cool. Um, this is the motor that I'll be using in my cartoon scale L4 Cub. It is a brown GB24. It is a twin-cylinder twin version of this little tiny GB12, one of my favorite little, little motors. Um, how does, uh, how do we, uh, start a, a CO2 motor? Well, basically we have a charger. This is a little handheld charger and there's a charger with a two millimeter tip. Some motors use two millimeters. Some motors use one millimeter like this little, uh, GB12. So we take a, uh, CO2 cartridge like that or used for uh, BB guns and a uh, paintball and stuff. And the CO2 cartridge is inserted into the charger. And then we take the charger, hold it upside down. Okay, and we charge the tank. Instantly the tank is charged. We flip the propeller and the motor is running. The cool thing is it'll run forward and backwards. So the motors can run in either direction. And to uh, adjust the power, we can turn the cylinder. We turn the cylinder clockwise, the power increases. We turn the cylinder counterclockwise, it decreases. And the motors typically run between one and two minutes on a charge. Um, you can give the motor a gas charge, which if you hold the... Uh, cartridge straight up and down. All we're doing basically is putting CO2 gas in there. You can get a, there you go, not doing so good today. You get a, a gas charge and the motor will run less time. So if you're trimming a model and you don't want it to run as long, a gas charge is perfect. If you want it to run longer, you give it a liquid charge. So you're holding it upside down in a liquid CO2 Wars into the tank, but well, they run, you know, quite a long time. I'll demonstrate my beautiful uh, GB24. We'll give that a liquid charge. So instantly, you can charge it. Look the prop, and it is running. And uh, the cool, other, other cool thing about CO2 motors is, as the CO2 uh, as the power starts dying down, it dies gradually, so it'll make a gradual descent and uh, landing. So it's a little challenging, uh, a little challenging to get everything set right, but, uh, you know, the cool factor of these CO2 motors is there. Um, maybe we'll, uh, they'll get popular again, uh, you know, since uh, electrics, uh, you know, CO2 kind of died off and uh, lost its popularity. Uh, they still can be found on eBay, and there's a company, I believe in the Czech Republic, that's still selling some of the Gasparin uh, CO2 motors. Um, I would like to uh, talk about lubrication. Um, to lubricate the CO2 motors I use, this is uh, Marvel's Mystery Oil, and you just put a little dot in the cylinders, and there's several locations where you can uh, lube the uh, motors. The, uh, the company, I believe in the Czech Republic, still sells the Gasparin oil. It's a light, basically like a sewing machine oil to lube those motors. Um, 
All right, one more model I would like to talk about is my, my pits back here uh, in the background. Uh, this pits has a uh, gas baron. It's a 500, I believe, uh, ball bearing version. And this has a throttle on it. So yes, you can throttle a CO2 motor. Let me just put a charge on this. All right, so this pit special has a little throttle. We have it throttled down. And you can see I can power just like an RC model with an engine. I can adjust the power, full power, slow it down if I was bringing it for a landing. That motor just runs beautifully. A lot of torque. These super motors, they swing big propellers. Let's stop with your hand. Um, the uh, they swing big propellers for a lot of torque. So um, on some models, uh, that was the reason why I, I did my uh, my cart or I'm doing this cartoon scale. Uh, version my L4 because this little tiny motor swings this big prop so cartoon scale just makes sense so uh, yeah just a quick uh, little uh, talk about CO2 motors and uh, well, you can see again this thing is still holding its charge um, just really cool stuff um, hope everyone enjoyed the video and uh, please subscribe to my uh, channel thank you